Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. If you remember, in the previous session, we set up the checkboxes, but we said that the method was not perfect in the most complete sense of the word. The reason was because the flooring that we used needed to check all the data that have been registered one by one and see if they have been checked or not. We said uh, there is actually, there is available a professional method that is done through the arrays. How it works is that if we may have two options, we draw out these two options and we say now which ones have been chosen and then we write the flooring based on those few that have been drawn and we no longer have to check all the data and delete the ones which are on. In the second method we are going to work out, uh, we simply say just give us the ones that have been checked and then it says a series of PKs and then we are going to set the flooring and see which ones need to be deleted and we won't need to know if they have been on or not because that has already been taken care of by the array okay first i don't have to delete the codes that we have written here so that you can use them in the project source later on i just go uh, down here to the html section of my site here in the HTML section of my site, I don't delete this one, just turn this to comment so that you would have it and see it later on on the project. Um, at first I make my HTML, I define a new TD, I define an input inside the TD okay now i need to define the input type i set the type as equal to checkbox okay i need to give it a name we gave it a name dynamically now we are going to give it a name as an array so i say uh, for instance checks and then as an array uh, that is now i am naming them in the array and then uh, it is going to arrange the names dynamically okay and then I need to give it a value I say our value needs to be the ones whose checkbox has been checked uh, by their PKs okay so at first i change my checkbox i set the name as checks it needs to be an array called uh, checks and the value inside it would be the pk of the values whose checkbox has been chosen that's for the html section now what i need to do is i need to go in the view and do the reception work i say for instance the check variable equals request dot post dot there is a subtle difference here here i need to say get list that is receive it as an array so that my data would be inside an array now what is the name of my checkbox checks and as an array okay at first before doing anything i said a print and print checks i refresh the page i choose pk8 and 9 and submit as you see it gave me an array as an outcome there is an array where i have the eight and nine pks that have been checked now 11 and 9 are checked as you see it gave me an array the 9 and 11 array compared to the previous method now everything is much more neat and we are going to need this the reason is we used to check all the pks to see which ones are on but now i have an array that uh, system 
and take care of that job already so we can do things much more efficiently and even if we have thousands of data i can do it with no problem in a second and we no longer deal with a thousand data and work only with them that you can see uh, are on uh, we go down if you want to as you see it is an array check but the value is different the value that is going to be set inside checks so we made a checks array in the HTML using the PK values just like we did when we made the PKs dynamic but this one is a bit more professional in its outlook and it gives us an array of the activated checkboxes and it is more cleanly and more professional okay now I have this array as you see uh, the values that I check they are being given to me in the array now I can say for I in uh, let's see check I said a four for I in check and again I use my query okay let's do that now where PK equals I we only have PK and for instance dot name now it has a name or not let me see okay let's see what we have in the models txt okay for instance t xt and i send this to let's see and print now we want to see the emails of the boxes that i have checked now i enter the 9 and 11 emails and i should see the emails twice okay 9 and 11 and i see the emails twice and here we can process them any way we want because this array that we got here is the array of the checkboxes which have been activated and now if we want to write the delete section this is the get method b and b dot delete and now i choose 9 and 10 data and 9 and 10 data are deleted okay that's the second message so you got to know the difference in the first method uh, we made the name dynamic and then draw all the data one by one and check them one by one to see which names one uh, which names on and which names are not but in the second method using the array quite easily we received the list of the checkboxes that have been turned on and they don't have to be compared to other data i can use this same list so that i delete or add something to them or process them whichever way i may desire i can draw out the pk and apply the necessary and desired changes on them